here, so I'm gonna have to be careful where I step. Alrighty then, so that's where I came from. There's the mystery hole. Wow, just going up 50 feet wears me out. Kind of pitiful actually. I need to get more exercise, I guess. Hold on, I gotta be careful climbing down here. There's like nothing for me to hold on to. If I slip here, it's gonna hurt. Sweet, the highest breakdown is around the outside edges. And in the middle is where it's deepest. I'm not sure if there's reason for that, but at least it makes it reasonably easy to get around. The reverse, a big hump in the middle, that'd be kind of cool. But, oh wow, there's obviously a cave ahead. I'm not sure if this is officially HEPA cave still or not. Okay. But let me turn around and look where I am. Okay, so that's where I came from. That's the short dead end. Notice there's no way I'm gonna climb out of here. If I want out, I'm gonna go back the way I came. So it's a good thing I brought a bunch of flashlights with me. Not planning on being here when it's still dark, but I got enough flashlights, I'm sure I could make it home in the dark if I had to. Might look really cool, I don't know. Wow, this cave is relatively flat on top, and it's huge. I mean, it's several dozen feet tall. It's gotta be 50 feet wide or more. I mean, it's crazy huge. I mean, most of the caves around here, I mean, you're lucky to be able to stand up. Okay, this is tricky. Now I can't find a way down. I'm gonna have to go over here, hug the edge. Looks like there's a sort of kind of pathway. Yeah, I think it'll be easiest to go all the way to the left here. One thing about coming this time of year, or this time of day, is the lighting is more even. If I come here on a bright sunny day, the entrance is super bright, and then away from the entrance is super dark. It's really high contrast that a cheap camera can't pick up. It's not particularly pleasant to look at anyway. Wouldn't be worth it to get an expensive camera just to show, hey everybody, this is a shadow. In case you're wondering what a shadow looks like. Anyway. Okay, well, that wasn't exactly a shortcut. Notice here there's a bunch of sticks on the floor. There's a bunch of poop on the floor. Obviously from some sort of animal. I'm not a bird expert. From all that poop, I'm guessing pigeons. But honestly, I don't even know if they have pigeons around here. I don't know. With those sticks, probably something bigger than a pigeon. I don't think it's owls, because these aren't owl pellets. I don't see any owl pellets. Wow. Huh. Well, the big tube is over to the right, but I see a small tube, whoa, to the left. So what I gotta do is figure out how to get from here to there. Jeez, so many loose rocks here. Oh, I see more natural light ahead. You know what, I think I'm gonna go to the other side and then turn around and come back, because I only have so many, so much time. And, uh, yeah. I don't even remember. I've been here before and I don't remember if these bridges, they kept going and going or going or if there's actually a dead end sometime. But, yeah, it's getting a bit late in the day. 
for me to figure that out. Some ice here, some yellow ice here. Wonder if somebody actually peed or if that's just from dirt from above or what. Maybe somebody didn't like their beer, dumped it out. Just kidding, that'd be dumb. But who knows, I'm sure there are some dumb people in the world. Wow, I just keep going down and down and down and down. I wonder if I could get a really good altimeter here and it could tell me my exact elevation. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe I should do a GoFundMe project. Give me money and I'll buy an altimeter. Like anybody would care. Anyway, <laughs> that would be kind of the most pathetic fundraiser. Maybe I could do a fundraiser for a flashlight too. Yeah, I'm scared of the dark. Buy me a flashlight. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's nice and deep down there. My flashlight, I think I need to switch flashlights. My flashlight seems to be getting kind of dark. So I'm gonna find a place to sit down. Oh wow, there's a hole right there. Okay, now we're some place to put my flashlight down. Darn it. Steeper than it looks. Can't find a reasonably good place to set up camp. flashlights with me. Of course I should have thought of that before I left. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, I probably should have switched flashlights a while ago. I was in denial about how dark it was getting, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna put my gloves on just so I can grab onto a rock if I need to. Oops. There we go. Such a big cave though, the flashlight doesn't light it up. Gonna have to explore smaller caves, I guess. See this cave, it's shaped a lot like Hep Cave. But the thing, or Hepa Cave, however you say that. But the, the thing is, it's dry. So I don't see any ice. Wonder if it's, yeah, interesting. <laughs> 